All right, for today's video, we're going to tie a couple of PMDs, pale morning duns. And uh, generally, I like to tie my pale morning duns on a standard size 14 dry fly hook. Uh, that's what I'm gonna start off with today. Sometimes I'll tie it on a larger and usually a smaller hook. Uh, I don't like to go much above a 14, sometimes a size 12. Uh, but generally don't see very many PMDs that are bigger than a size 12. So, okay, here we go. <clears throat> a PMD. Going to be tying these PMDs today and uh, actually gonna, we'll be using them to uh, send them off to another fellow YouTuber, uh, Phelps on the Fly. He does a lot of fly fishing videos around uh, the state of Montana in the Northwest region and uh, hopefully he can use some of these. So if you haven't seen his videos, check them out on Phelps on the Fly. You can subscribe to his channel on YouTube as well. All right, here we go, uh, PMD. So I'm gonna use some uh, kind of pale yellow thread. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get my thread on the hook. Starting in the front, working to the back. And once I get to the back, I'm gonna snip my thread. And I've got some dubbing here, you'll see it's kind of a pale yellowish color. I like to add a little bit of amber to it to give it a little more, a little more, a little more brightness maybe. And I'm just going to take just a tiny, tiny pinch of that dubbing and I'm going to put that on the thread, barely any, you can barely see it right there. And I'm just going to push that right down to the bottom and make a couple of quick wraps with it. So really all it does is put that little tuft of dubbing on the back there. And the reason for that is the next thing I'm going to tie in is these little micro fibettes are going to make the tail for this PMD. And I try to use, I don't know, maybe seven or eight of those fibettes just like that. And uh, when we tie these on there, that little tuft of dubbing will help separate them because you want to make two tails here. Um, and when I do that, that little tuft of dubbing actually helps a lot. Otherwise, it's hard to sometimes separate these. So I'm going to lay them on there, and my tail is going to be about the same length as the shank of the hook. So I get it about the length I want. Make my wraps. Oh, that one is wanting to cooperate. Generally, these are the same length. These are fighting me a little bit. Okay, about the same length as the shank. Once I have it on there, my first couple of wraps. I'm going to wrap back towards that tuft of, and you'll see it kind of split those, those fibettes a little bit. See it kind of flare. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to help pull a clump of them to each side. And once I get them, get the appropriate amount on both sides, I'm going to make a wrap behind the tail on one side. And then behind the tail on the other side to try to split that. And that little tuft of dubbing helps that process go so much better. You might be able to see those wraps. See how it's split like that. So just a little tip that will make your, make your tying of mayfly tails a lot easier. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm just going to wrap forward towards the front of the fly to about here and we're going to snip those remaining micro fibettes off. Okay, the next thing we're going to tie in is we're going to use a little bit of uh, white. You can use, if you have it, pale yellow uh, poly yarn. I'm going to use white. I prefer it. I think it's a little easier to see. And I'm going to just cut myself little length of that. I'm going to tie that in right up here where I just snipped off those micro fibettes. Just like that. Get some good tight wraps. And now I'm going to take this back end. I'm going to hold it kind of over the shank of the hook like that. Take my scissors and I'm just going to snip along the top 
like that. And you'll see here in a little bit why we did that. Now that I've got that snipped though, I'm going to take my thread, pull the front forward, the front of the uh, poly yarn back. I'm going to make some wraps in front to help make that post stick straight up. Once I've got it sticking relatively vertical, then I'm going to make some wraps around the actual post. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there's a reason that we cut that, this poly yarn at a tapered angle so that when I take my thread now and I'm gonna wrap my thread back, I'm gonna wrap it towards the back of the hook, it is going to naturally create a nice taper of our fly. And since we're using some pale thread, some pale yellow thread, you could probably almost use that as just your body, but I do prefer to put a little bit a little bit of dubbing on there. So now that I'm in the back, I'm going to take some dubbing, my pale pale morning done. Dubbing. I'm just going to put a touch of dubbing on there. Not a lot. Not very much. Just a little bit. Get that twisted on there. We don't want it very heavy in, on the thread. We want it pretty light. Okay, now that I've got my dubbing on there, I'm just going to slide it down a little bit towards the, towards the hook. Sometimes I'll, just to make sure that dubbing is getting wrapped nice and tight, I'll lick my fingers just to kind of get that, to wet it down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take that dubbing and I'm going to wrap it to the post. And we don't have to worry about doing much shaping because we already did the shaping with the uh, tapered poly yarn. So that helps quite a bit. And the next step is I'm going to tie in my hackle. Now I'm using a little bit of light gray hackle. Sometimes what I'll do with this light gray is after I'm done tying it, maybe I'll take a uh, Sharpie marker and uh, color it a little more yellowish. But uh, I've actually found that it doesn't seem to change the effectiveness of the fly for me. Maybe it would for you on your rivers if you're fishing a little, maybe a little pickier fish. But I've used saddle or I've used grizzly hackle as well and been pretty happy with it. So, okay, once I've got that hackle tied in, now I'm just going to put on a little bit more dubbing just to finish the front of this fly off. I might need a touch more. For these PMDs, I really like to use that uh, dry fly dubbing that just it just it secures to the thread a lot better. Okay. step. I'm going to wrap my parachute post here. Some people prefer to wrap their parachute post, parachute, their hackle around the parachute, and then they actually tie that hackle off on the parachute. I am not that type of a fly tire. I prefer to still tie my parachute or my hackle off 
on the hook. So I get it up here to the front, try to pull back any hackle fibers that I can with my fingers. I'm just going to make a couple of quick wraps here on the front. Make sure it's fastened down and snip it right at the head of the fly. Okay. And the last step is whip finish this fly and got a nice looking PMD. All right, last thing is, is this post is a little bit tall. I'd like to save that for last. So we'll trim that post a little bit. Check our fly. That's it. PMD.